we get to this point in my life where I'm doing stuff like this? I would like to know. Here we go again. Hey guys, what is up? It is currently 8.07 and I like never film this late. I just came back from volleyball practice so I don't have like a ton of energy. So this video is gonna be pretty chill. So grab some popcorn, this will be interesting. Now to explain what I'm actually doing in this video. I decided to send every single person that I've liked a Google form basically saying, yes, I like you. Now you should answer these questions for me. Keep in mind that I still go to school with a ton of these people. So seeing them in the hallway, I tried to just forget that they were there and just go on with my life. If you're watching this, which I know some of you guys said that you would, um, hi, <laughs> thanks for being a good sport. I appreciate it and um, you're famous now, basically is what I'm saying. First thing we gotta do is go through the question. So basically I had as a title, hey, so I guess I had a crush on you at some point in my life, LOL. And then in the description, I just basically explained what was happening, told them that don't worry, I don't like you anymore. Also let them know that it was for a video, which thank God that all of them already knew that I had a YouTube channel because if they didn't, that'd be another awkward thing having to introduce them to my channel. I can only take so much in one day. So first thing I asked was their name and then I asked them to rate my attractiveness 1 to 10 and then rate my personality 1 to 10 and then I asked what was your first impression of me? I think first impressions are absolutely the most interesting thing in the world. I want to know what people thought of me first and so that's what I have there. And then I have a really spicy one. Could you ever see yourself dating me in the future? So we have yes, definitely, maybe, Possible, but very unlikely and lol. No, never. What terms are we on? Zero being we don't talk and ten saying we're chill That could either mean like we're best friends or it's not awkward at all And then the next thing I thought would be fun because I think it's funny when people roast me I have most annoying thing about me. So I basically said in parentheses This is your chance to roast me some of the guys took me up on the offer, which I love you Thank you for making this video entertaining and some guys You'll just see what happens. At the very end, I decided to do how awkward is this quiz? Zero being LOL, it's chill, to 10 being I hate this. And then of course we have any last words to me or the viewers so they can say whatever they want. So that is the Google form. That was the easy part of filming this video, Cassie. Now you have to actually react to what they said. Oh, uh, I need water. Okay, where is my water bottle? Did I just spend the last five minutes trying to find my water bottle? Yes, but if you know me in real life, you know water is my coping mechanism. <laughs> So I had to have it right by me. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, Cassie, take a deep breath. Okay, we're gonna go with the first guy that I ever liked was pretty much preschool through sixth grade. Did I think that I was gonna get married to this dude? A little bit, but I was like 10 years old, so cut me some slack, okay? This guy out of all of the guys has probably treated me the best. I don't, you're probably not watching this, but hi, thank you for treating me right when I definitely didn't treat you right. Thumbs up, we learned a lot, okay? He rated my attractiveness a nine, which thank you so much. I'm pretty sure you're just being nice, but I appreciate it. Rated my personality also a nine, thank you so much. What was your first impression of me? You were cute, Um, thank you. I was probably adorable. Here's what I looked like in fifth grade. I didn't, uh, yeah, take with that what you will. So could you ever see yourself dating me in the future? LOL, no, never. I respect that. I probably can't see myself dating you just because I feel like we're both very different people. We like broke up sixth grade. A little bit has changed, but still a really great guy. What terms are we on? We don't talk, which is true. We really don't talk. Most annoying thing about me, you texted too much. You know what? This is everything because here's the thing. Let me explain something. I think I took my fifth grade relationship a little too seriously and I like saw my older brothers like communicating with their girlfriends a bunch and I was like, I wanna talk to my boyfriend. A lot of people talk about their middle school relationships lasting like a week or like three hours. But with this relationship, like it literally lasted all of my elementary school years. I didn't like anybody else. Like he was the only person I liked that entire time. And then how awkward is this quiz? Zero, it's chill, which that's good because I was really worried because obviously we don't talk anymore. So I was like, like, this is gonna be awkward. And then any last words to me or the viewers, subscribe. Thank you. You guys should definitely subscribe. Okay, water break, I'm stressing out.
let's go to this next person. This person I regret liking, and it has nothing to do with him. But if you know the story, you just know that like it wasn't the best for me to like him. Nothing to do with him, and I think he liked me back, but it was like only a week. And rate my attractiveness, a three. You know what? That's the most accurate one I've heard all day. Maybe a 3.54, I'm thinking, but um, you know what? I like it. He's honest. Next one, rate my personality a seven. I like how he's realistic because I feel like all the other guys were just being too nice. What was your first impression of me? You looked like Elsa. Guys, I swear I don't look like Elsa. I know I'm wearing a blue sweatshirt, but I swear when I was younger, people would tell me I looked like Elsa all the time. Like when the movie just came out, I sang like Let It Go in a school talent show. So that probably helps. But anyways, think that's funny. Could you ever see yourself dating me in the future? LOL, no, never. Thank God. I was really hoping he wasn't gonna say anything else not because he's not a great guy. I just no, I can't see that happening Okay, next what terms are we on 10 we're chill. Yep, we're chill a most annoying thing about me You sound like budget Taylor Swift. Thank you. I like the roast I feel like that's a compliment to call me budget Taylor Swift. I am basic. I can kind of sing that makes me Taylor Swift, ladies and gents. Moving on. How awkward is this quiz? Zero, thank God. I do not want to put you guys through any pain, okay? I like how it's zero. Any last words to me or the viewers? You should unsubscribe. I think I'm gonna blur this one out. No one needs to see this. Okay, so this next person, I thought they were cool. I liked hanging out with them, but I didn't want to date them, if that makes sense. They didn't go to the same school as me, so I was like, I don't really want to get in a relationship. I just got out of kind of like this whole broken heart thing, blah, 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 blah. So I didn't want to get in a relationship, but I thought he was cool to hang out with. Okay, with that prefaced, let's start. Um, Rate my attractiveness, zero. Okay, I'm a little offended. I feel like I'm at least a three. I think I'm a three, so I just think we need to bump that up next time. Rate my personality a two. Yikes. I'll work on that. Usually I can change my personality to who I'm hanging out with, so I just need to figure out what type of personality you like, and then I'll shift to that. What was your first impression of me? Outgoing and extroverted. I take that as a compliment. Could you see yourself dating me in the future? Possible, but very unlikely. I feel like that's probably true. I mean, he's a great guy, so I'm not gonna like completely rule it out, but some crazy things would have to happen for us to end up dating. What terms are we on? 10 or chill. Let's go. I like to hear that. Most annoying thing about me. I don't know, being too popular. This one confuses me. Usually when I think of Cassie, I just think of the person that's really loud and annoying that also happens to do YouTube on the side. But I feel like it's supposed to be a roast, but I'll take it as a compliment. How awkward is this quiz? Zero. Love to hear that. Any last words to me or the viewers? Um, you liked me at some point? You friend zoned me. Okay. Yeah, this guy, he like confessed he had feelings for me and it was kind of obvious like when we first started hanging out that he liked me and I thought he was cool too. Like I liked hanging out with him. But like I said earlier, I didn't want to date him just because we went to different schools and he was gonna go somewhere else next year. And so I was like, no, I don't really want to date you. So I kind of just friend zoned him. So that's what happened. So low key, that's kind of funny that I surprised him. Like, I don't think he thought he was going to get this Google form. Well, actually, none of these guys thought they were going to get a Google form today. I just sent it to them. Next person we have, um, we were kind of like a thing for, I want to say, six months-ish. It kind of died out over the summertime, but he was really cool. Rate my attractiveness, eight. You are way too kind, but thank you. I appreciate it. Rate my personality, nine. What was your first impression of me? You seemed really nice and fun to hang with. That's so sweet. I had fun hanging out with you too. Could you ever see yourself dating me in the future? Possible, but very unlikely. I'm kind of feeling the same way. I don't want to rule it out as an entire possibility because like nothing really happened bad and like he's still a great guy. I just don't know at this point if that makes sense. Most annoying thing about me. I never really found you annoying, so I got nothing to say here. LOL. Wow, you're just too nice. Round of applause for this, guys. How awkward is this quiz? A seven? I'm so sorry. Ooh, I feel bad. Any last words to me or the viewers? Sub to the channel for good luck. You heard the man. Subscribe. Why did I say it so weird? Subscribe to this channel, guys. Next person we got is somebody that I liked for about, I want to say, a week to two months. Kind of like the summer. He rated my attractiveness a seven. I I like it. Rate my personality a nine. Thank you. What was your first impression of me? Kind of weird. You know what? Same to you, okay? You were a little off as well. Although to be fair, we kind of met each other when we were younger, so 
Fair enough. Could you ever see yourself dating me in the future? Maybe. Yeah, honestly, he's a really great guy. We live really far apart. Um, I feel like a lot of things would have to happen for us to end up dating, but I didn't really have anything any problems with him oh what terms are we on nine we're chill yeah we are we talk like almost every day just like snap back and forth that type of thing most annoying thing about me not watching stranger things or my hairstyles um yeah i and how awkward is this quiz too that's what we like to hear peace out any last words to me or the viewers charlie brown is cool he is indeed okay next person i liked him beginning of freshman year and this was the first guy that i ever liked them first all the other guys that I've done in this Google form, I knew that they liked me first before I even like decided that I was allowed to like them because I had this weird mentality growing up and I actually still do and I'm trying to change it is where like I physically can't and will not like someone if they already don't like me back. Like I can turn off my emotions. You can ask my friends, like I'll literally just switch. But this was the first person that I decided that I liked them first. And after it ended, I realized now I will go back to only liking guys that like me first just for my own sanity rate my attractiveness eight thank you rate my personality seven you are the only person to rate my looks above my personality and i just don't know how i feel about that i think seven's a good place for my personality i just don't know why my looks are above my personality what was your first impression of me not sure pro probably bad you know what fair enough could you ever see yourself like dating me in the future possible but very unlikely i feel the same way there aren't many guys that i know so gotta leave all the options open what terms are we on for i'd say that's pretty accurate most annoying thing about me catchphrases i do have a lot of catchphrases they are annoying how awkward is this quiz 10 you know what dude I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry, actually, I feel bad. But thank you for powering through and doing it anyways for the content. Next thing, any last words to me or the viewers? Hey viewers, stop watching this video and go do your homework. Mm, that's just some great advice, but also I just like to point out that this video is not over. So do not click out of this video yet. <sighs> we have finally gotten to the last person on this list. Rate your attractiveness an eight. I feel like we both know that's not true. You can lower it a little bit. But thank you for taking my feelings into consideration because as much as I'd like to say that it wouldn't hurt my feelings, truth does hurt. Rate my personality a five. Don't talk to me. We're literally good friends and you rate my personality a five. What was your first impression of me? Oh, let's hit her up. I don't know who she is, but let's hit her up. If you go to my school, then you automatically know who this person is just by that phrase because this person hits up anyone. Could you ever see yourself dating me in the future? maybe what terms are we on 10 yes that is one I agree with finally if you had put it as a 9 or an 8 I would have been a little bit offended he is my best friend and I still talk to him every day he's pretty great sometimes sometimes he's annoying but besides that <sighs> most annoying thing about me he just really went off here band Cassie oh and when you're around my girlfriend and I sometimes oh and when you get mad about getting one point wrong and an assignment and test and when you say you're breaking out and when you think you are addicted to something okay how awkward is this quiz zero yes he was actually one of the people that convinced me to do it so huge shout out to him any last words to me or the viewers I'm dating your best friend lol sucker got me there okay literally an hour of filming later i am finally done with this video if you are still watching to the end i just want to say you are one of my favorite people in the world and for all the people that know me in real life that tuned into this video hey how's it going thanks for watching this video this is probably the only video you will watch on my channel so i hope it was entertaining so that is all i have left to say i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys next week bye guys